So this is the primary fuel rail made by Radium. See all the components that come with it. And these are the Injector Dynamics 1050cc. I don't really need to go with something too big because these are primarily just going to be for idle and low speed. I'll be running four 2600s uh, in the secondary rail. Uh, this requires um, O-ring adapters. So I've got a couple of um, different fittings here. So this is going to come in on this side. This is going to be the input, the feed line, and then this is going to go out to the secondary. Okay, this is the Radium Direct Mount Fuel Pressure Regulator. It comes with the fittings that you need for it to attach directly to their rail. Um, because the rail has Dash 8 uh, size fittings on both ends and the regulator is a Dash 6, they include the adapter here. So, um, you can go directly onto the rail, which is nice that you don't have to buy a fitting because these are probably like 10 bucks. And again, everything on these is a O ring boss. So this fitting has got it on both sides. This one is a standard um, AN fitting on one end and then an ORB on the other.
I get the lines bent, I'll have a better idea of like where I can run this, but this is gonna run to the feed in the primary rail here. So we gotta either bend it at a 90 degree and make it come through here somehow, or I can possibly bend it at a 45 degree. Let's see how that goes. been a few days since I've worked on this last and this line right here which is the main feed line into the primary rail I remade that um, because it was a little bit too tight before um, and I decided to use tube nuts instead of the compression fittings just because this um, is really tight in here and um, the tube nuts take up a little bit less space Okay, so I have the tube cut and bent again. It's a little bit cleaner than it was last time, but I need to deburr it. And then the way that these work is these little ferrules will go on here. And then we will flare the end. You have to have this on first because otherwise you won't be able to get it back on. And then the tube nut comes through and then that will attach to the other side of the fitting and we'll do it on both sides. There it is. 37 degree flare. I'll go through and just deburr the outside of it once more. working on getting a new return line done. I bent this one at about a 20 degree angle uh, to make it hook up to the secondary fuel rail a little, a little bit better than what it was. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this one compared to the other one. It's just 290 degree bends, again with a 20 degree uh, angle on it.
So here's the first section over here of the 8AN tubing. And you can see that, um, as we saw in the other videos, these are um, just custom bent tubes. And this is the Seco seal. And the way that this actually d works is it sits right in there. And then kind of connects up onto the other end of the AN pitting. And then when you tighten this down, it's going to crush this and just make a better seal. So just to recap, we did all of the fuel lines, the fuel uh, rails, the six injectors, two primary 1050 injectors, and four uh, 1700 secondary injectors. Um, Seco seals on all of the hard lines, and um, that's pretty much it. So it feels really good to have this part of the build done and um, I'm one step closer to getting the engine in the car.